this is Jazzy with Modern Hippie Mag. I'm downtown Sarasota at the Farmer's Market. I got something special today. We're visiting Sarasota Naturally, brought to you by Natural Awakenings Magazine. Vendors featuring everything for your home, health, and body with a green tint to it. We can't wait to see what's going on. We're actually, it was a huge success last year. We had about 12,000 people here, so we're expecting the you know, same or better crowd. We have perfect weather for it. Now, where did the idea come from? Basically, the idea was to bring the magazine alive. You know, we have a lot of uh, different sections in the magazine that cover different areas, and so we tried to bring those alive for the, for the day. So the green living, the fit body, the healthy kids, the natural pet. For someone or most people here who have an interest in living healthy or learning or educating or whatever the case may be, it seems incredulous to say, well, why? Why are you doing this? What is the point? But really, what is the point? It really is to, to educate as many people as possible. And even though you know the readers of Natural Awakenings may be educated and they may have knowledge about those things, there are a lot of people that still don't. So um, a lot of the things that we've encouraged with the vendors is to try to educate people on natural health, healthy living, sustainability, um, and how they can incorporate that into their lives in, a, in an easier way. And I think fortunately for us, the magazine has been around for a long time. We have a brand name that people know. So people are picking up and reading you know, regularly, and they may not have been quote unquote tree huggers or whatever you know they want to call us but um, they are you know they are increasing you know. increasing indeed this year's events on increase from 120 vendors last year to about 170 this year um, Wild Tree is an all natural supplies and blend company out of Rhode Island the company was started by a mom who both of her children were sick and she was trying to find ways to feed them without all the dyes preservatives so all of our products are no MSG no dyes no fillers no preservatives and they're easy and quick to make. Called Aero Research, E-I-R-O. Aero comes from a Portuguese word, means entero, which means to make whole. This is five superfruits, acai, acerola, pomegranate, camu camu, and kasha. No added sugars, we add a black cherry juice to liquefy the product. But the berries are harvested in their local countries, they're flash frozen, shipped to the U.S., and then processed. But unlike any other juice on the market, this is the whole berry. There's no extracts, freeze-dried ingredients, or preservatives. Before hiking the Appalachian Trail with her then two-month-old son, Miles, Courtney Washmuth created a new baby food to go called Miles Outside. It's pretty ingenious, Mom. It's all dehydrated organic baby food. Um, it's all on the go, so it's packaged that all you have to do is add water, breast milk, or formula. Um, I do it with millet grain, which is the best possible grain that you can feed your baby. Um, it's the highest in B12, folic acid, and iron. Would you do this with Windex? I would not. It's early in the morning to be having wine, but for demonstration purposes, we'll do that. So usually any carpet clean usually need about five minutes to sit. You can see right away, I can see what are you thinking right now? Wow. That's how we got the name Wild Green. Trying to get the word out one household at a time to, you know, to try the non-toxic products. There seems to be a lot of interest in natural healthy living here, and I think it's growing as well. So. Um, you know, compared to Portland, probably not the same amount of interest that there is in Portland on sustainability and natural health. Um, but certainly, I think for this area, we've got a higher concentration of people that are, are interested. And do you see perhaps doing uh, events like this in other states, other countries? Absolutely. Um, actually, Jeff and I, one of the things that we did this year at the annual conference for all of the publishers was introduce the Sarasota Naturally event to the other publishers in a way that they could actually incorporate that and do that in their cities as well. So we've already, I think there are two or three cities that are doing it this year. Uh, next year you'll probably see seven or eight, ten maybe across the country and I, I think it will spread so you'll see events like this um, throughout the country. For more information about Sarasota Naturally and Natural Awakenings Magazine, visit their website nasrq.com or call 941-351-3740.